Superheroes. Okay, you are the superheroes of the day, right? This is uh, a first time for me wearing this robe and uh, the headgear and all that. I feel very proud. And I can imagine how proud each one of you would be feeling today. Is it? Are you feeling like it's a burden to carry this? 16 years of hard work. 16 years of hard work has come to this day, has come fruitful. And it is culminating on this day of celebration. You are indeed very fortunate to have a college that celebrates your success. It doesn't happen everywhere. So you should be feeling fortunate. And again, you should be feeling fortunate to have a college which tells you that its doors are always open to you. I heard the chairman saying today. So feel fortunate and feel blessed to be here on this day to celebrate your success. It is an important day for the college because its students are celebrating success. It is a more important day, a fulfilling and gratifying day for your parents who have been the reasons behind your success. And again, there are a few more people who are behind. They are sitting behind and you were, uh, they were there behind your success. Who are they? Your teachers. Not only teachers, there are a lot of other people who worked behind your success the reasons for why you are here today. Your placement team, your training team, uh, your heads of the department, principal, a lot of people and a lot more well-wishers who have mentored you to reach this day. Be thankful to all of them. While celebrating success, it is very important to be thankful. So today, if you did not do so earlier, take a moment to go to your parents, <laughs> to go to your uh, teachers and everybody who has been behind you to say a word of thanks. Will you? Okay. I just remember a story at this point of time. I think it is relevant here. One young man went for an interview. So he performed very well. He was technically very good. The interviewer was very happy with his performance and he was about to offer him a job. Then he asked, uh, who are your parents and uh, what do they do? So this young man said, I don't have my father, he passed away while I was small. So then who uh, takes care of you? Who uh, gives the finance for your studies? Do you work? No, I don't work. I have my mother, she is working. So what is she doing? She said, Dobi, she washes clothes. So the interviewer was surprised. How can she work so hard to finance for his engineering studies? So do you support her? No, I don't. She doesn't allow me to uh, help her in any way. She does all the work by herself. And she tells me, you go and study. You be successful. I will do all the hard work for you. For a moment, the interviewer was silent. He asked the young man to show his hands. His hands, his palms were very, very soft, very clean, very neat. So he understood that this person, this young man, in his life, never in his life, has washed a single cloth. His mother was spending all her life washing clothes to support him. So the interviewer said, you go back to your home today and you look at your mother's hands and you come back. So that evening, the young man went back home and he was taking a look at his mother's hands. He saw very uh, hands which were not soft, which are very hard, wrinkled out of the hard work for several years. He realized that he had never looked back. He had never seen his mother's hands even for once. And tears flew from his eyes 
and he sat there and kissed her hands. And that day, he washed all the clothes himself. He did not, he did not allow his mother to wash the clothes. And then he came back and met the interviewer. So the interviewer asked him, so what did you feel? What did you find yesterday? So this young man said, I saw my mother's hands for the first time yesterday. I realized what it means to me. Today I am a different person. So this is what I want, want to tell you always. Maybe you wouldn't have realized that the people behind your success, they have been there, invisible many times. Realize that today and say a word of thanks to them. Will you? Yes. So that will be the foundation of your success. Be grateful to all that you have received. It's not because of our uh, uh, achievement. It is not just our achievement or our skills or our efficiency. We are here because there, are, there were a lot of people behind us. And when you go forward, many of you, I understand that 80% of you are already placed. So that's a big number. Let me congratulate the placement team and the entire college for that. I think they deserve a big applause. I learned that 84 companies came to the campus. Again, congratulations to Resmi, the placement officer. You have a very energetic person. I know her from two years back. Disheartened if you haven't got a placement now, till now. This is not the entire thing. Recently, I went to a uh, private, uh, went to a company in Chennai, Chennai, where my daughter is doing internship. I found many uh, students, not students, many freshers waiting for interview. So I was just talking to them. They told me that they did not get campus placement, and they were doing a course in embedded systems in Chennai or some place. And this company goes there. Many good companies like uh, Bosch or uh, many good companies that I say, they all go there to this institute and recruit students. So the people who are not yet placed, there is no reason for you to get disheartened, but it is very important for you to learn from your mistakes so far, to learn from your drawbacks. By this time you would have attended many placement drives, even the students who haven't been recruited yet, you would have already attended many placement drives, so you, you would have realized yourself where you are missing. If you are not able to clear the online aptitude test, that means you need to improve your skills. You spend some time, you spend some time even for bank coaching, even for bank tests, there is coaching available. If you are not able to be successful yourself, attend the coaching, attend some training and perfect your skills. It's all practice. The aptitude test is all practice. And spend some time, if you haven't spent enough time during these four years to perfect your subject knowledge, spend some time to perfect that knowledge and spend some time even for the students who are already placed Spend some time to improve your skills, join for a course, you will be definitely having some time before you get your joining dates. The, uh, make use of this time, join for some courses. We call students, we recruit students from engineering colleges for uh, uh, software uh, coding and testing and other kinds of jobs. But still, sometimes we may be calling them for a Java batch. We may be calling them for a mainframe batch, depending on the requirements prevailing at that time. But still, if you are thorough in any one programming language, it will help you to excel when you come for the training. This is specifically true in the case of non-IT uh, non branches. For non-IT branches, when you come to an IT job, I think 80% of the uh, um, uh, placement is from IT, right? That's naturally 80% of the placement will be from IT. Even inspiration and the third one is integrity. 
Insight is when you do something, you should know the purpose. Why I am doing this? Have the goal or the purpose. Do everything with a purpose. Second thing is inspiration. That is passion. The people who are interested in dance, people who are interested in music, they have that passion. Maybe some people have some other passions. And when you are in your work, you should have a similar passion about work. We call it passionate entrepreneurship. What is the difference in entrepreneurship? What is entrepreneurship? When you are starting your own company or uh, uh, enterprise, we, we call them an entrepreneur. And when you are working for others, will it be different usually? If it is your company, will you look at the watch when you work? Because you have put your money in it, you have put your hard work in it, you will not look at the watch when you work. You will give your full. Similarly, if you are working for someone else also, put your passion and put your passionate entrepreneurship, then you will succeed. Just like chairman was telling you today, the salary, first salary is not at all important. What is important now is to be on the job and learn. These initial years are important for learning. If you don't learn after you work for five years in a company, will it add to your experience? What is called experience? You will not gain experience just because you are working somewhere. You will gain experience only if you are there in it with your full heart and full passion. Then only you will learn things. Then only you will succeed and you will grow further. And all the time learning, continuous learning is key. When I passed my 10th standard with good marks, I thought I felt very successful. I thought I, I have succeeded. Then when I went to the pre-university class, I realized that unless I get through the entrance examination with a good score, I will not get a good admission in a good college. So until then, I, feel very, I felt very successful for maybe a few days, a few weeks, or a few months and everybody celebrates your success also but after some time if you fail in the second step will anybody remember your success no one will remember your success you, you have to repeat your success then only you remain successful you have to repeat success so at every step you realize that there are many more steps to go there are many more things to achieve. There are many more obstacles to tackle. Life is a lot of obstacles. We today, this is your key to independence. You become financial ind financially independent. And you are graduating from a student life to a career. You may be thinking that, see now going ahead, the life will be very smooth. Till now, I had to study a lot. It was all hard work. But going ahead, I will get the salary, will go for movies, picnic and live very happily. It is not like that. We have to be on the learning continuously. Otherwise, what will happen? You will get outdated. Today's world is that of technology. Technology has changed the entire life. So, the, you, do you have any idea on the life of a technology? It is just 33 days. By the time you learn something, its newer version comes. You will, many of you will be having the smartphones, in fact most of you. And you get software updates, right? Every two weeks or three weeks the software keeps on updating new versions. That is the case of technology. By the time you learn something, the next version will come. So keep on learning continuously, otherwise you will be like a typewriter. 
How many of you know about a typewriter? I don't know, at least the people who are sitting on the dais, they know. There was something called a typewriter. After graduation, everybody used to go for typewriting classes. And this was an indispensable equipment in all offices. After that, when the word processors came, it came with lot of additional features. We could save the matter for future use. We could take multiple copies without uh, compromising on the clarity. Lot of additional features were there. So as a result, what happened? The typewriter vanished. The typewriter got outdated. Similar things happened in all other areas, right? We don't see the old video cassettes now. Even the floppy disks or CDs, now everything is getting compact into a small memory stick. It has the capacity of a memory stick is huge. The size is very small, but the uh, memory, the amount of information it can hold is huge. It is like that. Innovation is ruling life. When I have been told that the college is having a research department and it is giving a lot of focus on innovation and research because everybody realizes the importance of innovation. This is applicable to humans also. You have to continuously be on the learning. Then only you can compete with others. Otherwise, the more competent people will overtake you. Right? It is important to have the insight. It is important to understand our skills and choose the right career. Never be in the wrong career. Realize. Learn about the different careers. Learn about your skills. You know your skills better. Learn what is giving you satisfaction, where your strong points are. And give your full. You will not lose anything if you give your full. Give your full potential. Definitely you will be rewarded. Don't worry about the salary at all. You will be rewarded if you prove your method. So do that. You should be concentrating on that in the initial years. Every morning in Africa, a deer wakes up. It knows that it must run faster than the fastest cheetah around, otherwise it will be killed. Every morning in Africa, a cheetah wakes up, it knows that it, it must run faster than the slowest deer, otherwise it will not survive. Whether you are a deer or a cheetah, run faster. So every morning, you get up and decide to run faster than yesterday and be successful. In order to be successful, you have to grow the wings of passion. I wish all the butterflies here your wings to grow your wings of passion and success and fly to a great life. All the best to you.